Can, can I just yeah, say? Can I just say something first? I just want. Yeah, I, I know I was at Leicester City yesterday, and they, I just want to reiterate that the, my thoughts and everything are are uh, up there with everybody at Leicester. I'm, I live up there, and um, really, really sad, uh, sad events what happened on Saturday, and um, yeah, just a, a passing thought for the people that uh, lost their lives, and and also to Glenn Hoddle who. Um, is hopefully making a, a speedy recovery. I've done a couple of things with Glenn on television, so hopefully he's um, um, doing good. Okay. Okay. All right. Hello. Hello. Congratulations on the appointment. How does it feel to be back in management? Great. It's um, I've had around about uh, six months off, and uh, you start to get get at your feet, as you say, and uh, can't wait to get going. Really, really looking forward to it. Can't promise anything, but I'm really, really looking forward to to get going. And this will be the first real day that um that I'll see most of the lads really. Considering your strong association with Ipswich's rivals Norwich, did you have any concerns about taking this job at all? None, none whatsoever. As, uh, as I said before, I don't want to go back to the Norwich time because it's, it's seven it seven years ago, and I had three fantastic years in the. With everybody there, not not just myself, the staff, the players, who actually done it. I had three supporters, I had three fantastic years there, and I, I don't want to harp back, and I don't want you to ask me questions about it because I'm only focused on that switch now to try and get this football club away from the the bottom of the table, and that's that's exactly what we'll try and do. I don't want to be judged by past success or failures. I'll be judged from now on in, and I'll see. We'll hopefully climb that table. I'm not expecting any animosity from the fans on Saturday first home match. From from, from the fans, from the fans. No, not at all. No, I think I saw them on Saturday when I was at Millwall when the for a team that was sitting at the bottom of the table they were excellent, right behind them. And um, I'm sure that if we win games, it doesn't matter who's there, they'll get right behind the, the football club. You've had a few days now to settle in somewhat. Um, what have you identified as the key issues that you need to sort out with this squad to get them back to winning way? No, we, we, what happened in the past, as I said before, I, you can't change the past. What's happened in the, last, the the first few games? I would identify things pretty quickly and try and sort them, and uh, that will come from a collective. We need everybody, as I said before. We need the team to to enjoy playing football again, which I think is important. We need the team to play with enthusiasm as well, with the drive, the hunger, and I will give it 100 percent. Everything I've got, I'll give it with my experience, with heart everything I've got to try and make this club successful. What does the hierarchy at Ipswich said to you about what they want you to achieve this season? Do you know, the, the owner, Marcus, has been really good, really, really good, and um, there's no great expectation level on, on me at this minute in time. None, none, none whatsoever. Just, we have to get one in football, football games, and if we get off that bottom of the table, we go on a little run, you never know what it can take you. But there's never any expenses level on me on my shoulders. I know I know football inside out. I know the pressures of it. I know the pitfalls of it. And it's something I'm really looking forward to. There's lots of players in the current squads from lower leagues. Um, mm. how will you use the January transfer window to, to perhaps change that if you feel you need to? Well, once January comes I'll, I'll I'll deal with it. I've got more important things to than the winning football games is more important at the minute. I know the lads haven't won uh, many games but they should still have a squad good enough to win games or do better than what they're doing. That's that's important. So, um, and my job is to get them, maybe try to do different things, and and playing the way I think they should play. So, uh, and that's what I intend to do. So, the most important thing is to win games. Will any funds be made available to you? Any what? Sorry. Will any funds, money, be made available to you for the, for the transfer window? I'm pretty sure Marcel and Marcus and and, and the, everybody at Switch will will have a talk. Uh, Come January time, I'm pretty sure we'll we'll look at that and 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 hopefully add to the squad. Come come January. You've obviously spoken to the players and, and had your meetings and, and mm. everything like that. What's morale like at the moment? Well, I only came in on Sunday with, with the lads and the uh, the group that, that trained were excellent, really really good. Spoke to everybody, staff, everybody, and uh, everybody's really upbeat. I think if you come in the door, you wouldn't you wouldn't think the club's in the position it's in, but it is in reality. It is. But my job is to to change the whole the whole feeling of that, the whole mood swing of it, and uh, 
you don't get jobs when clubs are going great. So you know there's something not particularly going well. And uh, it's my job to try and rectify it. Side that play against Preston on Saturday be different to what the fans have seen previously? I think that, that listen, that whether you have uh, people can say, Oh, it's a new manager, we'll get one or two wins and it'll go back to normal. That's normal, people think that way. My job is to try and keep it consistent and try and get, as I said, get the, the players and, and the supporters to interact with each other. And that's what we'll try and do. We'll try and get everybody behind everybody. We need everybody. The, the, we need the staff. We need the players. We need the, the fans to be to be united. And I think if we do that, and as long as they see a team really fighting and really playing a different different way, then they'll get right behind us. And finally, are there any injury updates or concerns ahead of Saturday? There's one or two little notes from from last weekend, but I'll see how they are. I'll see how they are come the rest of the week. And uh, but as I said before, we we as a squad, we, we're going to need everybody. <laughs> Welcome back to East Hi, Tom, how are you? Yeah, very good, Paul. All right. You've, you've, not, you've not changed. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Well, possibly both of us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You've had some tricky jobs, haven't you, over the last few years. How yeah. do you go about an instant repair job here at Ipswich? You, you try and, as I said before, there, there, there's not a secret in the game of football. I think you just try and win, win games, and and that, that keeps everybody pretty happy. And, uh, but I think I think what we have to do here is create create an atmosphere where it's uh, we're going to have a lot of fun with it as well. We're going to try everything we can, and we're going to have fun, and we're going to try and win games. And if we do that, then we've got a great chance of a better place to come and work when your when your atmosphere is a lot lot more upbeat. And uh, we'll try and generate that. And uh, if we do that, then you've got you've got half a chance. Would you have come here had money not been available to spend in January? Because I think the consensus consensus amongst most fans is that the squad needs what, some serious help. It, 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 it needs need some help, but I don't think you can... Listen, if it, money doesn't always guarantee everything. It doesn't. It can give you problems as well. And the, We have to get the right players in here to help. There's no there's no point in saying we've got X amount of money and uh, you go and spend it on, on lads that are no good characters and things like that. So we have to get the right type of player to come here first and foremost. But, We'll create an atmosphere here where, where it'll be a good place to be. You say you want the right type of player to mm. achieve so much of your success at Norwich mm. with young, hungry players, developing players from the lower leagues. Do you think you're going to try and re replicate that sort of formula here? I don't know. As I said there, Tom, that was seven years ago. That was that's a long time. The league's got stronger than, than what it was. They said before, the Norwich lads, they were brilliant. They gave me everything, and they, they're the ones that, that deserve the products. And they, I've always said that them and supporters carry that through. And I'll try and generate something here. That's that's what I have to do. This is this is my club now, and I'll do everything I can, 100%. Throw everything I've got in it. And uh, people know me down this neck of the woods, and know that that's exactly what what I'll do. Do you still rank in terms of the management your achievements at Norwich above all else? As I said there, I think I said there earlier that it's gone. This is seven years ago. That this is my club, and this is the one I want to really focus on. And this is the one I really want to drive it, and uh, I want to have a lot of success here. And well, I'll, as I said before, I'll give it absolute everything, everything I've got. And as I said, let's see what happens. I know you clearly don't want to talk about Norwich, but. Tom, you, you, you <laughs> must be right. You're, he's winding me up. Right? <laughs> but I suppose so many, pe so many people in, in these parts do remember you, you know, for those glorious days. You had wall to wall success, didn't you, for three straight years. Mm. And you also masterminded some incredibly telling victories over mm. then your nearest rival, Zipswich. Deep down, and given that no one's done it before, managed both clubs, can you believe you're here? Football, nothing surprised me in football. I said, I'm, I'm proud to be here. I'll, I'll say that I, I can't wait to get, to get going. I really can't. And uh, and, the, and uh, I've, I've got a group of lads that want to do well, which is which is really really important. I've got a club that wants to do well. There's a big big support behind this this football club as well. And I think that's my main focus is is at Switch Town. And I will do everything I can. I keep going back to it, but I'll put everything into it. I've done with all the clubs I've been at. I've never once not give everything I've got. And this one will be no different. Seven years ago on a crest of a wave. We got a whip switch, Tom. I know. Um, yeah. 
obviously you've had a lot of kind of short term. Mm. You haven't been a, a club for you know for mm. a long period since. Do you under do you feel under some pressure here at Ipswich to to, you know, to achieve success in the long term? No, I don't feel pressure. No, I don't. I don't feel pressure. I've never felt pressure really in any any game I've I've kind of really been in. Different. There's different types. Even as a player, I never never really felt it. And I played with some massive clubs, so I, I know exactly how pressure goes. I know exactly how management pressure goes. The game. The game is all about players and supporters. That's what the game really is about. And without the two of them, you don't have a game. I'll try everything I can to help them along with the staff, everybody. And uh, as I said before, if I can get if I can get the spirit going in a tempo going, then uh, we will we'll be a good side. And just finally, for me, I know you mentioned there's no expectancy on your shoulders here. Mm. But how tough a job? How realistic do you think survival will be? Every uh, listen, every every job's tough. Whether you're at Manchester City or United, Liverpool, every, every manager's got a challenge on their hands. It doesn't matter what. What, what where a team is in the table, every every job you go into, it's, it's a, there's a challenge here, and it's put it this way, I'm, I'm really looking forward to it. That's for sure. I'm not uh, I'm not frightened by it. I'm really looking forward to it. I know it's a huge club, great history behind it, but we have to start somewhere. We we the history you respect the club because of the great players that's been here, but we we can't can be compared to years gone by. We have to try and do our own little bit and the. Uh, as I said before, you respect the history because it's huge. You have a cup, respect to the great managers this club's had as well. But we have to have a start, we have to have a chance, or else we have no chance. We have to have that chance to, to do it ourselves. And if we do that, then, uh, yeah, we're, as I said before, we'll, we'll uh, 100% for sure, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do fine this year. Wish you well. All right, thank you. Uh, Paul, good to see you again. Um, confidence, obviously, is key. Yeah. Um, is there anything obvious that you saw on the pitch on Saturday which leads you to believe that there is a lack of confidence? I think this week, the way it's not just Saturday's game, Donovan. I think there's, there's been a few games where the lads maybe just haven't got going and, and suffered one or two defeats. But that's it's normal when you're not winning. That, that can happen. But as I said to them the other day, that forget what's happened in the past. You have to look to the future now and what's what's going to happen. And I'm pretty sure I'm I'm sure they'll see a different team. Whether we won on Saturday, I don't know. Nobody knows that. But I'm sure you'll see a different team. In terms of the, uh, the fun element you're trying to mm. introduce, how, yeah. how to quantify that? You've got to make the place a happy place to come in. You've got to do that. You've got to make lads want to come and enjoy football. Whether they make mistakes or not, it's irrelevant. If they make mistakes, it's my fault. It's not their fault. So I'm telling them how to, how to do it. So. Um, Come and enjoy, enjoy, enjoy football again. I think that's that's about enjoy, enjoy the game. And you mentioned the fans. Yeah. The crowds have been pretty low in recent years as well. So I suppose getting that enthusiasm amongst the supporters is a key thing. Massive, absolutely huge. I say there's a big supported football club, and we have to we have to get them on side. I think they're a vital taste to get to get behind us. And uh, I'm pretty sure we'll get a good crowd on Saturday. That's for sure. All the best. Thank you. Your reaction when you first got the phone call from the owner, Paul? No, it, the same kind of reaction I, I, would, I probably got from many other jobs I've been in it was, it was great, okay, no problem. We want to have a chat, it's absolutely no problem. So, um, yeah, that was, if you look at the amount of managers out of work as well, there's thousands out there that, that want jobs. And uh, and I was fortunate that, that Marcus asked me to, to have a chat and, and, uh, and I got on with them really, really well. Did you say to the players on Sunday when you met them for the first time? No, I just gave them a, a, an outline how I work and uh, and what I expect from them as well. And, and uh, but not just the players, I spoke to the staff, everybody really. And um, and everybody, to be fair, everybody's been great. And uh, as I said before, this is my real kind of first day with everybody. And uh, I'm looking, I'm, re I'm really looking forward to it. So once I finish with you guys, I'll I'll get ready and uh, and go out. The motivational approach. I think some people were expecting you to come in and tell a few home truths and a few rockets. And but you know, it sounds to me like you're going to try and you know inject a bit of fun and, and tell people that they're good players and try and get a bit. Of there's a bit of both of it. There's a bit of both. I think management now is evolved and the game's evolved. There's a bit of both in it. But you have to enjoy what you're doing. You have to really enjoy what you're doing, or else there's no point in doing it. And uh, and there'll be times where you have to tell people. 
it's not good enough. But there's also times where you have to have that release of let's go and enjoy the game of football. That, that's the, that's the way you play well is when you when you enjoy it.